guys, uh, 8-Bit Warrior 03 here, and today we're going to be playing some more Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, I haven't played this on my channel in quite a while, I think it's almost been two weeks, or maybe it has been two weeks, but I haven't played it in a while, and, uh, yeah, just thought we'd get back into it. So, yeah. Anyways, this is where I save... Uh, what? Do I really gotta skip all this bull crap? Dude. Dude. That was where I left off, man. I left off on day number three. In the weird part of the game. Well, I guess I gotta skip, so... Yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. You've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? A dream. I was staving, staying over at my friend's place. There were four of us. I drifted off to sleep while everyone was talking and watching TV. In my dream, I was still at my friend's house. The only difference was that there were, na that there were nails sticking out of the walls everywhere. And there was also someone I didn't recognize. The person I didn't recognize told a joke, and everybody laughed. I woke up to the sound of everybody laughing at something that happened on the TV, so laughing was not part of the dream. It was the noise that woke me up. I wonder who that person was and how they knew to tell a joke at that moment. It's not really a poem, that's a narrative. Alright, still going for Natsuki, of course, even when things have all gone to crap. Uh, but I'm, I'm still doing this. Papa. Going with spinning. Gotta go with friends. Gotta go with loud. How about kawaii, silly, milk, uh, anger, jump, waterfall, hop, shopping, bouncy, socks, swimsuit, and four dip. Ah, crap. Got everything right except that last one. Alright, I can skip this. Did you just hear that music? Cause I just heard some weird stuff going on. Oh yep, Natsuki goes demonic. Alright, skip all this stuff. There's written poems. I'll go to Monica, of course, because Monica is everything. Gotta go with Yuri, because Yuri is completely nothing, and she's useless. Yeah, your dumb poem, get out of my face. You stupid, mean son of a... gun. Natsuki. Oh. Oh, crap, I forgot about this. I just keep having to click on it, and then Monica pops up. Yep. Hi there, Monica. Hey, Josh, why don't we step outside for a little bit, okay? Alright, sure, Monica. Whatever you say. Alright, yeah, Yuri is... doesn't care. Alright, gotta go with Natsuki. Got all this stuff, games, gotta go with milk. I love my milk. Gotta go with play, fluffy, Hawaii. Uh, lipstick, uh, bunny, special, because I'm special, hair, skipping, doki doki, boop, I gotta go with dazzle, gotta go with sunny, gotta go with parfait, and I gotta go with bubbles, because of course, you gotta have some bubbles. Okay, this is where I left off. Let me just kinda... Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable over here. Here, over the... Hold on. Uh, there. Oh, oh, shoot. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Josh. Ah, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. 
Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk, and surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. Why, freaking creepo? About yesterday. I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Just don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. Or whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I'd already decided that there's no way you could possibly be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know that you didn't mean it. Ah... Uh, Josh, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around and... Ah, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either? Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. Oh no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something? Oh... Monica erased it from her brain files, or whatever. Did you do something yesterday? Eh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. Oh, yeah. Sure. Totally. 100%. I don't even remember anything bad happening. Oh, yep. Your brain got, like, accessed and deleted the files from. You don't remember anything because you were playing. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the littlest things, aren't you? Yes, she really is. She worries too much about the little things. You are totally right, Mr. Demon. That's it. Uh, dot, 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 boom, but... Oh god, oh god, oh that's terrifying. I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kinda nice to hear since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kinda weird, but I don't hate you either. Oh, that's nice. Your returns to me. You're still on trial though. Hey! Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, that Natsuki was. I was not. <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Ah. Well, my last period today was study all. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. He would have at least heard the bell. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still? That must require a lot of dedication. So, I'm still impressed. Ah, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Haha, <laughs> that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case... I won't let you down, Josh. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah! I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. 
In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss any... Oh, wait. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not... Not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Nasuki has already run off into the closet. Josh. Um... Since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine. She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much. She's used to being ignored. You just said you liked her. You... What? What is wrong with you? Are you... Oh my gosh. Come on, we're going over there. Uh, oh. Oh, shoot, I thought my game just broke. What's the story about anyway? Well, hmm. I look at the cover of the book. This book is titled The Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about the religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. Oh, excuse me. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Oh, oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. I forgot to give her her voice, too. But anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. I'm sure you're into both. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Ah, just like this game, I see. Ah, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Josh? No, it's not that. Oh, it's totally that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the inside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that... It's the kind of story. It's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. I keep forgetting the real voice, so I had to give it to her halfway through. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. And so, she said then suddenly, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. You shouldn't. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Oh, yes, I have. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books of writing and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body suddenly does something. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. But please stop me if I stop, start talking too much. That's... I don't really think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. Oh, crap, I accidentally skipped. Ah, that's, well that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Oh, hi. Oh, God. Uh, yes. I mean, you don't have to, but, what are you saying? Uh, let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine. If I s oh, alright. It's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah. Yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. Who says that? Okay. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. And you say that Natsuki was used to being ignored. Okay, I think, I think, Yuri, I think you're just dumb. That is, you're to be in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Oh, alright. Open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in, in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. I hate that feeling. You ever have that feeling when you're like trying to read or something? 
and then somebody's like behind you watching you read. It's, it's some, it's some crap. Especially when teachers do it, like when you have to read in class for something, and they're like, "Are you actually reading?" And I'm like, "Yes, I am." It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. But I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. What? Why? Read your own book, you freaking rat! What the heck are you doing? Sorry. Oh. What did what did that say? I was just. What? And then that said, Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Uh, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean. <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against yours, then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we can lean, in, once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Feels like my left arm is in the way, so I instead use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. What's going on here? What's going on here? Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Okay, nice. Ah, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Well, actually she's in my full vision because as I can see right now, I can see her entire, like, upper body. Like, in its entirety. Eh? To turn the page. Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and her eyes meet. I don't know how how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's that's okay. You're not used. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. That's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes, finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter uh, over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? Uh, no, I, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Ah, that's what you were talking about. Sorry, I thought you meant something else about her. Oh yeah, how she cuts off people's limbs and etc. Uh, something else. Never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. Ha uh, Yuri, are you feeling alright? Eh? Yuri's been a little bit fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel a heartbeat. Uh, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Hell was that? Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Josh? Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. He was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing. Aha, don't worry. I believe you, silly. 
Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sh with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. Make a mental note of where I left off in my book, then slip, slip it back into my bag. Why wouldn't you just use a bookmark? Okay. Alright, Natsuki. Hmm. Well, that's not terrible. But it's pretty disappointing after your last one. I wrote this for you! I wrote this poem for you! Nobody else but you. Sure, Yuri liked a few words that I put in it, but I think she only liked one word that I put in, your, in this poem. This poem is literally for you, Natsuki. It's made for the purpose of making you happy. I don't know. But it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I just wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in this club writes really different from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from ever anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Oh, what is this? Oh yeah, I'm learning so much stuff from this poem. This poem is so fantastic. Oh, oh, it's such a great poem. I love this poem. In fact, I'm gonna copy paste this poem and read it in a in a poetry competition where I read poetry out loud and yeah. I'm going to memorize every single letter, every single number. In this poem, every single math sign, every single whatever else is in here, I'm gonna memorize everything, and I'm gonna—I'm just gonna perform it. You know, it's—it's it's that good. Uh. Oh, what is this? Why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Natsuki, I love you. I love you so much more than Yuri. Yuri, I hate Yuri. Anime Josh, he has a mind of his own. Anime Josh, please, uh, look. You gotta spend more time with Natsuki. She's so sad. Y y Anime Josh, look. You gotta... You gotta just, like, put your hand up to Yuri, and you gotta be like, Nope, Natsuki needs me more. Oh boy, if only I had that choice. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead. Oh. Oh god. Oh god! Oh shoot! Oh my gosh! You don't hate me, Josh, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please. Please stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. Ugh. Oh god. Some bullcrap that was. Monica, please help me. Help me, oh god. Oh boy. That was rough, man. Hi again, Josh. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon, uh, maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Aha, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Wanna share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Alright. Great job, Josh. I was going oh in my head while reading it. It's really me metaphorical. 
I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. First of all, I didn't. I think you guys are just stupid and have mental issues. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Uh, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Oh, really? She likes the cutesy style that I used for Natsuki? She likes that kind of poem writing? Ooh, boy. Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though. Oh, it's totally bad thing. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. Maybe it's because I'm handsome. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like Elia. I think if she gets too sim stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for her alone time. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Uh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. You were gone for like freaking 30 minutes! No need to apologize. There's still have plenty of time, so I'm more than glad you, you that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. But anyway, you wanna read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colors, they won't... The, the colors, they won't. Bright. Beautiful colors. Flash NG, expanding, uh, piercing, red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, uh, grating with the, uh, m uh, squee king, screech NG, uh, piercing, sine, cosine, Tangent, like play n h elk board on a t urn table, like playing a knife on a breathing rib kg, n endless pm of min endless. What is this? Delete her? Oh, dang. Well, that's not what I was expecting did a pretty good job writing that whoa hi what the heck was that sorry i know it's kind of extra abstract i'm just trying to um well never mind there's no point in explaining anyway here's monica's writing tip of the day sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision when that happens don't forget to save your game yes i will never i, I would never forget to save my game you know what just because you said that, I'm gonna save my game. You put me in such a good mood with that writing tip of the day. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening, children. Oh my god, what the heck is going on? I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. God, Yuri, please. Please spare me. Spare me, please. Just let me leave the literature club, please. I don't want to be here anymore. Yuri, you scare me so much. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. Ah, I mean, the poem turned out good. It's, uh, you probably didn't even read it. Moron. Well, there are some things that you could work on. But that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. Ahahaha. <laughs> that came out a little awkward. 
Let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. I am not reading all of this. Why would I... I'm gonna try to read this. Uh, wheel. A rotating wheel turning on axle. Grinding. Bolt head. Linear gear boy. Falling sky. Seven holy stakes. A dock ship. A part... Told a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gear. Okay, I'm not reading all that. That's that's some bull crap. Also, why'd the music stop? Ah ha ha ha. It doesn't really matter what it's about. Yeah, it looks like you just wrote a bunch of random things together and you put them together. A thin rope tied to a tight rope? That makes no sense. Or to a thick rope? That makes literally no sense. I don't know what's going on here. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. My pen? Ah. That is, a uh, pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping and... Why didn't you just give it to me? What is wrong with you? When you when somebody drops something and they're right in front of you, you give them the dang thing that they dropped. Or you, uh, maybe maybe she, maybe Yuri was just raised by wolves and she doesn't know how decent people behave. I just really like the way that it writes, so I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. Ah ha ha! I'm okay. What did I just? Can we pretend this conversation never happened? Yes, please. You can keep the poem, though. I really... Anime Josh. No. Just no. Oh, hey. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Sure. What the heck is this? N-O-T-H-I-N-G-I-S. Nothing is real? The heck? Nothing is real. Well, this, this, yeah, a simulation. Okay, everyone, we're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put anything together in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. I think it's our of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations, Monica. Don't worry so much, guys. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Josh joined, and we've started with some productivities. But this isn't the time for us to become complacent. Uh, we're still only have four members, and the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets nosier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki. I don't think you're looking at, the, at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? Inspire them to find the same feeling that brought you here in the first place. The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place to intim so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Josh? Ah. Oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Josh to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to stay, say no to anything. Look, Monica. Did the music just stop? Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, shoot, what's going on? Do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? Yuri. Uh, Yuri never even talked until Josh joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Josh isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. You're right, I'm not. And that's... that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really only... 
one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Dot dot dot. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Josh want to get more members too, right? Not really. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, it's up to me to rescue this situation. Um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club. It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? That doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Josh, why did you even join this club? You forced me to, you remember? Uh, what were you hoping to get out of it? Well, oh wait, no, I joined the club because of these three beautiful girls right here. That's what Anime Josh said. That's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Wait, was I? Okay, I don't know. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. Shut up, Yuri. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. Maybe you should have taken over and spoke for yourself then. You- Oh my god, Yuri, you're so stupid. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? Yeah, Natsuki's dad beats her. I bet your freaking dad is dead, Yuri, which is better than getting beaten by your dad. By, like, a lot. So, I don't think you have any place to speak in this, so you should just shut your mouth, because you are obviously a dummy. Uh, there aren't, there aren't many places, other places like that for me. Now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Josh, it's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. That's if you start packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. That's Suki. Man, you're the one who freaking made her mad. God, I hate you so much. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. Goodbye, Natsuki. I will see you at the festival, and I love you. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Good job, Yuri. an idiot. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Maybe you should, like, keep your mouth shut next time. God, you're such an idiot. Well, yeah, I have an opinion for the festival. I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Oh, God! Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I do. Real life Josh does. I don't know if anime Josh does, but... Hey, real life Josh cares about that obnoxious brat, quote-unquote. I mean, I like how nice Quath Club is right now. I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Oh, what the hell? I would cry if she killed herself. I would... I would... I would, uh... Well, I don't know what I would do. I would be the one lowering into the into the grave. Her, her boyfriend right here. I should do the best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. What about you, Josh? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an in indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing for her is for everyone to get along. 
and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many mem mem members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president, and, wonder and also a wonderful friend. Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay. Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Josh? Oh, wait. Shall we go, Josh? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but... I'm going to chat a little bit with Josh before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Dot, dot, dot. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay, I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Josh, I wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. It feels like... I'm responsible for that as president. What's going on? And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. What is going on? With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know, yeah, dumb. Haha. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you spent here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Ah, I mean... I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. Uh, just things I'm hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why- Wait, not yet- No! Stop it! The heck? Oh, God. Okay. Alrighty. I'm gonna write this poem and then I'm gonna s Actually, I'm gonna save right now. Uh, so, okay, so I saved, so I'm gonna end this video right here. Whew, Monica took the words right out of my mouth. This episode has been hectic as crap. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are enjoying this series, let me know down in the comments. Um, and I will definitely continue it. I'll probably continue it anyways, because I have nothing left to play. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh... And I will see you in the next video of this game, or skit, or other game. Whatever I just want to play. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Um, and as always, bye guys. I mean, no, it's as always. The outro goes like this. I say, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye. And that's how it goes. So... As always, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. What is this, dude? I'm getting, like, ten notifications from stuff. What is going on? Okay. I don't know. But, yeah, I'm going to end the video. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.